biggest change for him the other side of the ball for you from running back to the end? I mean, how big of a change was that for you? Tell me a little bit um, In some ways, it's a big change. You know, I'd never had to put my hand down on the ground before and play defensive end, and so that was something that was real different. Um, as far as coverage wise, it wasn't that much different. I've been I played linebacker since I've been here, and that part of it was fairly easy. And I think for Dion to be on the other side of the ball, you know, playing tight end and running routes and everything, he kind of knows what's going on. He knows you know where he needs to be in order to cover routes. You know. uh, we're in the, into the boundary. Yeah. Uh, talking about a guy like Akini Rose, really kind of owned the position the last couple of years. So what does a guy like that teach you? And uh, all the guys who are on the defensive front and not trying to make their way in the NFL, what do they kind of teach you? Um, definitely, Kenny uh, would be, uh, you know, just the way he plays the game. He's real calm and really smart about the way he plays. And he just, he, he knows exactly what's going on at all times. And it's kind of fun to watch because he might not be the biggest, strongest guy out there, but he's in the right spot all the time. And so it took a lot away from him, you know, watching him on film and everything when he was here last year. Uh, another guy, Brandon Bear, you know, just leadership wise, seeing the things he did, the things he taught me, he taught a lot of the young guys and trying to take what he gave me and just pass it on. A lot of people always want to talk about the speed off the edge and you know, put pressure on the quarterback. Is that something you can bring? How do you get yourself through the line? What are you kind of working on technique? Yeah, that's uh, definitely something you have to be able to do in my spot. Um, you know, part of it is just knowing what you're doing, knowing our packages and everything, and being able to work that in technique-wise, and being able to be split on receivers, um, disguise yourself, coming in and rush. You know, we got to know a lot of different stuff. We got to know how to play defensive end, how to play outside linebacker. You know, come in and play and tackle knows it doesn't really matter we got to know all the different positions and how to best use the technique they're giving us and apply it about eight weeks or eight months you'd say removed from playing last time I mean, you guys got to get a little bit to get that kind of almost little three weeks split but, uh, yeah it's definitely it's definitely um, i feel hungry you know i feel like we got left out there with you know we only lost by a couple in the last few minutes and that's it's heartbreaking but at the same time you know we know we can get there we know what we need to do to get back there and i think that's good for us because we know what it takes and i think we, we have what it takes we just have to be able to apply it so in the offseason how much does that eat at you when you back and think like that field goal what you've done before that maybe on the dry where they got dire was down um you know it's something you think about uh, probably every day when you go in, you go to lift, you go to run, condition, all that is just, you know, if I can push myself a little bit further, you know, be a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, you know, maybe that's what it would have taken. And I think if everybody takes that mentality, we'll have more than enough to get back. So, Brandon, thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.